Hello everyone and welcome to the IMV Studio introduction to textures on diffuse maps. My name is Prey and I'm a developer creator here on IMVU and I'm going to be teaching you what texture maps are, how they work, and what can be achieved when you're designing them. So to begin, one should know that texturing a 3D mesh is similar to the concept of wrapping a package or covering a piece of furniture with patterned paper. And then when you're applying your texture to a 3D surface, it's called mapping. I also want to mention that there are different kinds of texture maps, such as opacity maps, normal maps, and shininess maps. But the one we're going to be focusing on today in this video is called a diffuse map. The job of a diffuse map basically defines the colors, patterns, and shading details to your textures. Though to e be able to even create a texture, you'll need some form of art drawing program like Photoshop, GIMP, Corel Painter, or something similar. Something else you need to know is that every 3D model, whether it be clothing or furniture, will have its own unique set of textures that need to be applied to it. Textures will go into something called materials, and materials are applied to your 3D model to give it a unique look. You'll find that some products may just have a few materials on them, while others might have multiple, like the one you see here for this garment. Currently, this model only has a flat gray diffuse map applied to it. The room we're in was actually doing all the work to see the forms and shapes of the 3D model. However, if I were to go into a room that didn't have lighting, allow me to change the scene so you can see what I mean. This is a room I created that does not have shadows and lighting in it. This is what my model actually looks like, which just looks like a flat, formless gray blob. So you'll probably want to apply more interesting textures, one where you hand paint all the shading information into them. Now, let me show you what it looks like when I add a texture to my 3D model. Now you can see the model has some shape and form to it, all because my texture map is doing all the work in creating the shadows and highlights in order to be able to see it, regardless of whether or not the room has lighting. But let me show you what it looks like in Photoshop. This is the portion of the top that I just textured and you saw me apply. But allow me to go back and show you what it looks like when I apply all the other texture maps to it so you can get a better idea of the bigger picture. And there it is! Now, even when you go into a room that does have shadows, allow me to change that back to the default one we were in previously, you will see that it has forms and shapes, if not more so. Now my last word of advice is that how you make your texture maps is going to be the key to your success, and it's the differentiation of being a professional or an amateur. So yeah, that's the end of this tutorial and I hope it helped you understand what texture maps and diffuse maps are and how they work. Thank you and take care everyone.